Hello everyone, and welcome to the finale of Metroid Zero Mission. Now that we have Samus' power suit back, it's time to get some revenge on those space pirates that hunted us down in the last episode. So let's do this thing, because this segment of the game is really good. If the, well, though it can be a little difficult at times, but yeah. Because <sighs> it feels so good finally being able to take down those space pirates that have been basically messing with me, well, messing with Samus the entirety of the previous segments. There, it's gonna be good. And we now we can save up. And can I go up there at all? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Let's go to the right. And I think what I can do is just bomb this. Oh, no, I need missiles. Okay, cool. Start going down. And also, this episode, I'm gonna probably disappoint anyone who had any faith in me. Been like, ooh, wait, speed booster bit. Okay, I'm gonna get those super missiles. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna let down anyone who had any faith in me wanted to present this game because this is the point of the game where I have no idea where the other items are, so sorry. This is officially the end of the 100% run. Even, even though I feel like I was doing good. Oh well. Anyway, let's shine spark my way through there. Go. Oh wait. Seems like there's something to the left up here. Anything? Anything at all. Oh, missile! Okay. I do want another E-Tank. That's all- Oh, okay, more missiles. That's fine. I was, I was hoping for another E-Tank in all brutal honesty because, good lord, I'd like to have- Because you can take a lot of damage in this- Well, in these next few segments and- Power Bomb? I don't have that yet. Yet, anyway. You can take a lot of damage in these segments. Well, during this part of the game. Gotta be careful about that. Because even with the gravity suit, which lets me, um, flawlessly go into lava and everything like that. Yeah, even with it, it's still pretty difficult. But because these enemies still do a lot of damage to me. Not nearly as much as I wasn't without my suit, but still. Okay, so, so far we're doing pretty good. Go up here. And hello, space pirate. He's dead now. Okay, now we can finally do with those st stupid eye wall beams, whatever the crud they are. Yeah, you also still can't get health from defeating these guys, which... Ugh, that can be pretty annoying. Especially whenever you're on death's door. Uh, do I go in there? I think so. Okay, uh, let's see. Yep, just needed to bomb that. Oh wait, there's something here. Hello? What's in here? I really would like something. Anything? Oh, missile! Here. And... Okay, more super missiles. I will take it, because... Super missiles are really good. That's all I gotta say, really. Okay, those guys are running. Probably because they weren't alerted to me. And now they were, and now they died. Because you don't mess with a fully powered Samus, she will actually kill you if you... If you're an enemy. Because this fully powered Samus is just, good lord, a, just borderline absurd power-wise. Ah, uh, crud. I think I'm going the wrong way? No, I think I'm going the right way. Okay, good lord. Now, now we're gonna have to deal with more enemies on screen, so that means there's gonna be a little bit of lag. Not too much, though. I hope not too much! Anyway, now we're gonna get... All saved up. Ah. You know, it actually feels good to have a good amount of super missiles for once, because this game doesn't give you that many. Okay. To be fair, though, super missiles are kind of broken in this game. And just in any Metroid game, really. Well, outside of, like, Dread, I'd say. Never played uh, some of the other ones. I still need to get, back, get around to Prime again. I played a decent amount of it, but I, I'm nowhere near finishing it yet. I, I don't think I'm anywhere near finishing it. I'm not close to finishing it. Oh well. Anyway, let's go in here, just double checking the map. Because I don't want to accidentally miss anything that I feel like I can get. If it's something I completely miss, then... Uh... Oh, can I go down here actually? Can I break the glass? Okay, no. I was hoping I'd be able to do that, like... Do I need the power bomb if I was going to do that? Because... Uh, Metroid, uh, well, and Super Metroid, 
you're able to break the glass in one area due to the power bomb. But I need to find that first. Oh yeah, also the stinking um oh crud. Screw attack. Uh, I can one shot these space pirates as well, so that's very nice. And hello. Oh, I didn't actually take him out. Weird. Okay, I guess the top bit, well, like the top and bottom bits of the ice beam are the least damaging. Hello, friend. Oh, Lord. Okay, I don't want to fight this crutter. He's do. he's... Oh, he's dead. <laughs> okay, yeah, he just takes a little bit of punishment. Okay. Uh, what to do now? Because, good Lord, things are getting a little hectic. All the space pirates and crud. Okay, it seems like we're fine. I say it seems like it, but we're probably not. Okay. Let's see. Out. There we go. Now we can get to another save room. Oh, boy. I forgot how stressful this bit can be. Don't get me wrong, it's fun, but... It'll also be pretty tough. Ugh. Okay, save complete. Let's get going. And now let's just blow that up. Can I get past that? Yes, I can. Uh, is there anything up top there? I don't think so. No, nothing. Okay. Go in here now. Kill that guy. I think. Oh, okay. I just need the screw attack to do get up here and then... Oh, missile. Okay, cool. And now I can just open up that door, go in here, and use the super missile. Watch, this is just gonna be a missile tank, isn't it? Oh, wait. Is this? Ah! Okay, yeah. Just a little trap. Great. Oh, and I need a power bomb to get through there. Can I just grip my way up here? No, it won't let me. Okay, that's weird. Okay, so I'm gonna need a power bomb because power bombs open up yellow doors. I don't have it yet, so yada yada. Uh, let's see. Bomb. Oh, cool! I got that right. And now we're gonna deal with the little gonk droid. Get, get moving. Go, go. please. Oh, thank you. And super missile. Very nice. Now let's just go crawl down here. And take another look at the map. I think... Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna dodge that guy, though. I don't... He takes a lot of punishment, and I don't want to fight him. <laughs> well, I, I'd like to dodge him if I can. And okay. Now... Oh, crud. Another space pirate. Now let's just jump all the way over here. And I don't think I can go down here yet. No, it doesn't seem like it. Go all the way over here now. And okay, yep, there's the space pirate. There's the black space pirates. Yikes. Uh, or the elite ones. I don't know, but I'm just going to dodge them. There's literally no point to fighting them. They don't follow you or anything. They're just there to just, just mess with you. Oh, okay, so you need the Shine Spark to... Oh, wait. Does that mean I actually will... Uh, when there's a Shine Spark puzzle, I gotta do it. Okay, never mind about that puzzle. I don't want to do that because it doesn't seem possible for me right now. Or just period. I guess I'd have to go do it from the other way, but I don't know. I honestly don't know. And I'd... Even though I could get an E-Tank from it. Because again, this part of the game, I'm very blind in. I kind of just whizzed past it during my first playthrough. And, yeah. Gosh. Okay, let's go all the way. Uh, come on. There we go. I can go over here. Kill that guy. Ouch. Kill those guys. Hop right down. Don't go in there yet because I can't. Because I actually can't. Go to the left. Take out that guy. And now we're just going to have to do a... Yeah. <laughs> Why? Could this just be open? I don't know, but oh well. Can I just shoot that normally? Yep. Okay, yes I can, but then it just goes into that. Ugh. Okay, go in here. Shoot that guy. 
And that guy. And that guy! And there we go, the room's cleared. Hooray! And now there's a... These things that I... Okay, yeah, I gotta kill them with missiles. At least they give me health drops, unlike the other enemies. That's fine. Oh, crud. Ah, <sighs> gosh. Okay, another space pirate down. Gonna go all the way up here. Back down. Up, because... I think you can just... Ah, eh, forget it. I'm not gonna try and wall jump. Not worth it when I have the screw attack. And high jump. Or space jump, whatever. Ugh, okay. Go down here, and okay. There's an area up there. Don't know if I want to go there yet. Because I can blow that up. Finish off those guys. Is this a save room? Please be a save room. Oh no, but it leads to one. Yes. Oh wait, it's going to be shut down for now because more space power is going to show up. We good? Okay, I think I got to leave the room and enter again. There we go. Now it's officially safe. So I can heal up. And then save again because, oh my lord. <laughs> Even at full power, Samus is still taking a beating. To be fair, this is still technically her first mission as a bounty hunter, so yada yada. Over here. And now let's actually go up here. And just assassinate that guy. Anything cool in here at all? Oh, but it leads to some... No, but it leads to something cool, I think. Oh, gosh dang it. Of course I need a power bomb. Just, just of course. Ouch. I mean to walk into that guy, but oh well. Go all the way down here, and where will this take me? <gasps> the guy with the power bomb from last episode! What's he doing here? Ah, oh, crud, I should not have done that. Okay, go, go, go. Good. And now, oh, there's the alarm that I just triggered, but now I have the power bomb. Which was not originally in this game. Well, in, in Metroid 1. But this thing can break open yellow hatches and is just a nuke. I love it. Though it kind of comes in a little too late, in all brutal honesty. Doesn't change the fact that it's useful. And, oop, oh, crud. Come on, give me that power bomb. Thank you. And once again, we're good. So, ah, uh, crud. Am I going to have to trigger the alarm? Actually, I don't have to trigger it. I can just go over. Hooray! Hooray! Eh, it's so tempting to just do the power bomb to blow. To blast it. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. Yep, up here, up here, and oh, need to go to the right, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now that I have the power bombs, we're basically ready to end this game. <laughs> I mean, we can do a lot of backtracking to other areas if we want to get everything, but in this case, we're basically done at this point. Because, first of all, I don't know where everything is, I, I keep saying that over and over again. Heck, the power bombs are just a mystery to me. So, we're basically finished because this area that we're going to is going to lead to the final boss. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a moment since I did this, though, but eh, can I go down here at all, though? No, that's a shine spark thing. Gosh, dang. Okay, then, but anyway, I think I'm ready for this. So, let's do this. Oh, right. This segment. So what you gotta do, for some reason you can't bomb that thing right there. No, instead you just gotta do this. It's so weird. Anyway. It's time. It's Mecha Ridley! Yes! For some reason, there's a mech version of Ridley. And depending on how you go through this, he can die stupid fast because... Oh! Well, that was underwhelming. <laughs> Thank you for the health, buddy. 
Oh. That's not good. Yeah, so this boss is a lot actually a lot harder on hard mode. That's the whole gimmick where if you want to present the game and everything, you'll get a harder final boss. But yeah, oh crud, you Um, uh, okay, cool. I, I gotta go through this route. Yeah, now we're on the, the next escape sequence. Oh boy. Actually, wait. Um uh, Yeah, I got a shine. Can I power bomb? Yes, I can. Thank goodness. Okay. Keep going because good lord, now we're in the final escape. Oh boy. Yeah, this segment can be Actually, it's not that the final escape segments in Metroid games are never really that bad. It's just you got to remember a lot. Okay, so I got to go down. Yeah, cuz I need to get to that escape shuttle. Okay, go down here. Because, oh boy, Mecha Ridley's not going down without a fight. Or more so, he's not going down without taking us with him. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. Okay, and so far we're like a minute through this. So far, so good. Okay, those things are going to be annoying. We don't have to worry about them. Down! Keep going. Okay, so far, so good. Unless anything goes wrong. Forget it, power bomb. These things are meant to be screen nukes. And just to help you out with this final segment anyway. Do I just use the power bomb? Forget it. No, wait, I can't go through there. Because it's officially locked to me, so crud. Actually, we're almost there, aren't we? Yes, we are. Sick. Okay, cool. Uh, going up here. Oh, Lord. Okay. Let's go over... Donk Droid, no! Donkey, please move! Donkey, don't do this to me, buddy! You can't! For the love! There we go. Now, oh, okay, I need to find a way down there. I was gonna say now that, now we're good, but nope, not yet. Okay, uh, okay, just need to go to the right. Blow up these guys. And here we are. We finally made it to the escape room. And okay, we gotta fight two of these guys now. Great. Especially because there's some harder enemies to deal with. Quit jumping, you stinking... Just do some karate like the guys in Super Metroid, which we'll get to eventually. Anyway, that guy's gonna hop out. His mistake. And we can hop in. And we've officially beaten Metroid Zero Mission. Yes! Mission accomplished! And that was Metroid Zero Mission. Overall, fantastic remake of Metroid 1. It's so, so good! It fixed a lot of what made the first game archaic, and it's such a good remake, dude. Like, oh man. It's such a fun time. My only, only real issue I have with occasionally with some structure, like outside of some structural issues at certain parts of the of the game. Uh, my only issue is the length. This game is so short for its own good. I understand it's a remake of an NES game, and NES games were meant to be difficult and short, but the difficulty was extending the playtime of it. But man. I just wish this game was longer because I love it so much. If anyone has a Wii U or anything like that, before the eShop closes and everything in 2023, um, please get this game. It's, it's so good. Oh man. And to think that Metroid just gets even better, though to be fair, this was actually the last 2D Metroid game 
until the remake of of Metroid 2 in 2017. If I remember correctly, this game was made in 2004? I think. Yeah. So that's like a 13 year gap to the next duty, and then a four year gap to Metroid. Oh, to Metroid Dread, so. Yeah. It's honestly insane. Like, Metroid has a lot of times whenever it just keeps going, like, gets good releases, and then a giant break. But anyway. Thank you all so much for watching this Let's Play. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did, because Metroid is something I've always loved. Well, not always, but I've loved recently, and I'm happy I could finally do a Let's Play for you all. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next Let's Play, guys. Bye! Son of a gun! 71%? Dang.